Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> So, <laughs> Let's start over. We're pretty, we're pretty much off of the lockdown that uh, we were on yesterday. Yesterday we had we were supposed to only stay on our bunks. We could use the toilets, and that was it. Couldn't use the showers. Couldn't use the microwaves. They unplugged them, both of them, for 96 guys. Uh, they couldn't have ice. Mm -hmm. uh, we could get off the bunks and go eat when they would bring the meals, so we had to go back to the bunks. We couldn't go to the backyard. Couldn't use the phones. I uh, couldn't use a computer. Uh, uh, attorney visits were allowed, they said, uh, the, although through that, uh, uh, if they came. But you uh, got an email out to uh, me. Yeah, well, that's because later on uh, they lifted some of that uh, and allowed us to go into the rec room later on. Oh. Which was good because it allowed us to be able to have the Bible study yesterday, which was one of the things I prayed for, and then, and then also prayer call uh, later that night. But then I went over to, to the computers because there's three computers these uh, that are uh, uh, where we order our commentary and we can do emails. I was surprised because we couldn't use the phones; those were off, and uh, that uh, I could shoot you an email through the phone, through the uh, through the computer, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, as I can tell, they're boisterous right here, and they have no concern whether or not you're at the phone, and they've got to have their loud discussions right there at you at the phone. Uh, but uh, so, uh, at any rate, is uh, so you were you were allowed to go outside today, right? You were you were still allowed to they go. Did allow us to go outside today at eight o'clock this morning. They made the announcement we could go back outside, and that's when they turned the phones back on. And then uh, they just made an announcement here a few minutes ago that you're gonna, that we're going to be able to have visitors for one hour tomorrow. Oh right, like a one hour visit, but they can't. We can't mix visits. So like if two, three or four people come in and they're visiting different uh, detainees, they can't switch over and go see a different detainee. And uh, which is typically what we do when uh, when there's a group outside, but. Uh, they could come in. They could probably come in a couple people and see uh, one detainee, but they're not going to let them bounce around. Um, At least you get to have someone. To yeah. So if, uh, if any of the supporters decide they want to come in, they can visit uh, uh, some of the detainees. Uh, those who aren't in the hole. And, uh, uh, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, so could you see the protesters it. out there? Could you see the campers and oh, everything? Uh, Oh, yeah, I did. I, I can see that they got the American flag on a tall pole with a Gadsden flag underneath it. It looks like the Gadsden. I mean, they're probably about 300 yards off. I'm thinking 250, 300 yards away from where I'm at. And uh, but, uh, Plus, I have to look through a number of fences. Uh, but uh, I was waving my T-shirt earlier, uh, and, uh, and I was told by one of the lieutenants that... Uh, uh, I sh not to wave it or they'll, they'll shut down the rec yard because they don't want the, uh, any of the, uh, the management here doesn't want the, uh, any of the protesters to get incited into whatever they would be incited into doing. <laughs> and uh, what she said, he knew that that wasn't my intention whatsoever and I wasn't going to do that, but just that was one of the things they were told. So, so I stopped waving my T-shirt because typically I wave it and the people wave the flags back, you know, in unison. So I, we know that we're communicating at least wait saying hi but they told me I could yell hi to them or whatever if they came by or say hi to them and uh, if they came by but uh, the uh, uh, unit was so much quieter here not so long ago some of these loud mouths that are back in here weren't here and uh, it makes it difficult to hear but uh, uh, it's uh, yeah so pretty much back to uh they actually, the other thing they took away yesterday was the news. They blocked all the news channels. So they could just get movies on it. From an inmate so, uh, mm -hmm. As if CBS would give you any good news anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would be any good news. And it's, it's amazing what a news blackout there is on this place and, and on our cases. And uh, it's really quite outrageous when it's, some, uh, it's probably the biggest case in the state's recent history. And... Uh, and uh, local stations cover like virtually nothing uh, on it. Every now and again, you'll hear something, but uh, very little. So obviously, there's some collusion going there with the news media because uh, uh, you'd think they'd want to know. Yeah, nobody anywhere wants to talk about it. We did have um, New Hampshire actually put something about us on the news when we had the rally for you last last Saturday. 
Yeah, well, I, I'm not surprised New Hampshire does, uh, but uh, uh, it covers it. But uh, it's, I don't know, it's just frustrating here in, in Nevada. They're, uh, uh, they're so manipulated. I mean, they'll, they'll talk about uh, people who, uh, 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 they, they move into a squatters, they move into houses, and they're always burning them down because uh, there's no utility, so they start a fire in the living room or whatever, you know, oh, man. or cooking, and then burn the houses down. And, uh, or a shooting or a stabbing or a robbery or a this or a car accident stuff. But when it comes to actual news, uh, especially on this case, especially when there's uh, a Nevada family, well, no Nevada family involved. Hey, you think they'd cover it more? Well, and freedom, uh, the freedom and rights of the citizenry of the United States of America, for goodness sake. That's right. Yeah. Well, they always have time to bash Trump. So, yeah. Uh, uh, it's just yeah, awful. So I guess that, yeah, that should tell you something. Yeah. 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 Reed got elected here for, what, 30 or 40 years, which should uh, tell you more than enough you need to know about Nevada. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, for it. Uh, uh, we're uh, we're doing all right. I've heard the story of what happened with Ammon from some of the uh, lieutenants and the guards and such, and with Ammon and Ryan, and uh, uh, they just carry in their protest where they're going to carry it, and, uh, and then they up in the hole, which they know that's where they're going, and uh, but they continue it anyway. So uh, the uh, my concern was this is with the protests that. Uh, they did over that shirt and uh, snatching that shirt out of the guard's hand, and uh, uh, which is a no, no, they, they should not be doing that. Is uh, and they ended up in the hole. Is that uh, the, that there was going to be a, a, a drive to uh, put them into protective custody, uh, and uh, that I thought was might be what part of this whole lockdown was about, and uh, that way the facility would have to deal with them, putting them in and out of the hole every few days or every few weeks because that's where they tend to go because they just won't uh, do as the guards ask them to do. So, uh, and, uh, and that's really about it with that. And uh, uh, it's uh, more of a surprise to see them out of the hole. It's like, oh, hey, they're out of the hole. You can walk down the hall and then move back in the hole again a day or two later. So, honey, who's in with, you just are with Steve, right? Yeah, I'm in with Steve Stewart. He's the only one in the case. Uh, 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 Ken uh, Mettenbach uh, from Oregon was in, was down here for a few weeks, and then he's back up. He, they let him go, and he drove back up to Oregon. So I think. Yeah, they, and, they, uh, we brought, we but, heard uh, about that. Yeah, the other guys are in G1 and G4. I think. Uh, and uh, you're in G. You're in. I mean, Buddha. Buddha's in uh, in segregation. And uh, oh. uh, I don't know where Blaine Cooper is. He might still be in uh, Henderson, and because uh, they're keeping all the, all the guys who are uh, uh, working with the feds, obviously. Yeah, yeah, working with the feds. Yeah, yeah. Which is ironic that uh, Greg uh, Burleson, uh a paid federal employee informant in 2012, uh, uh, the feds end up turning on him. In, uh, in this case, and uh, he gets, uh, I think he's going to end up with like 57 years. God, that's uh, just so mandatory. awful. And, uh, yeah, uh, well, and then he was in on all the meetings here and all that, and he was obviously... And that's really awful, too. I mean, he heard everything. No, well, he was trying to work with the feds, I think, with Robert Cross, uh, a little dog, uh, when he was out here. And uh, that's my understanding of the conversations uh, you know, when they were out in, out in 2012 uh, at the at the Bundy Ranch staging area and all of that, and that uh, they were working together. So that's my understanding. Mm. Okay, well, yeah. good. I so, mean, thanks for... I'm so glad I was able to uh, get you on here so you could sort of tell everybody what, what you were seeing from your pod. And, uh, yeah. And hearing. Well, they treat me uh, pretty good, my part. Of course, I don't give any reason not to. And, uh, uh, and uh, I, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm going to keep 
keep my my battle on in the in the courtroom, and uh, which actually this coming Friday uh, is uh, I believe is when I go in there for my sentencing. Your hearing change, or my plea change, right? The plea hearing, change, and hopefully that uh, I'll get that turned around. Which my attorney says there's no reason on earth that you have to be in the facility. But you're going. Maybe you're in facility. front of Navarro, right? Gloria Navarro yeah. is is yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Great. Yeah, well, Right. And for all of you, for for all of the people yeah, involved yeah. in this entire thing, if the truth Absolutely. if the truth is comes out then it will set us free. Right, exactly, and it will. It will. Yeah. That's right. Which is what the prosecution is my your call is detected, your call will be terminated without warning. Yes. Uh, if there's a yeah, third party that's detected. That's what they put the FBI. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we hear that recording almost every time we have a phone conversation now. We do. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've only got a few minutes because I'm going to go into mm-hmm. count yet again. Okay. The, the four o'clock count. The four o'clock. Well, Did honey, I, I love you. Um, I, yeah, I'll shut it. I'll shut it off. But I know everybody who's watching um, is uh, grateful that you came on and sort of filled us in with what was going on for for you inside today. Yeah. All right, honey, I'm going to push finish, and and bye, everybody. Thank you.